So the Notre Dame fire just hit us by surprise. And you guys might be wondering, you know, how do you get news while you're cruising and you're not in your home? Like, like how do you get it out here? Today we're going to discuss news and how we are affected by it and how we receive it when we are cruising and outside of our country and really outside of any ability to get news as it's happening. So we just had a wonderful day. We were we were drinking wine with friends we and visited a vineyard. Yeah, and meeting MJ sailing and just it was a great day and we got home and I immediately checked my phone because we didn't have internet access all day. And I had 31 texts from my family all about the Notre Dame fire. And I was just, yeah. I was blown Completely away. Oblivious. Yeah. And that we were having this beautiful, wonderful day. And meanwhile, this horrible tragedy, tragedy. was happening and we were completely unaware. And yeah. that is actually pretty much how it is with us yeah. um, throughout our entire cruising lives. With the, the soccer team where all the kids got trapped in that cave, that happened while we were crossing the ocean. So when we made landfall, people were talking about like a soccer team and all this mess. We, we had no idea, no idea what they were talking on. about. Yeah. Um, a, a lot of horrible catastrophes in the U.S., school shootings, um, terrible terrorist attacks have happened, and we've been completely oblivious. We found out days later, yeah. which is a very strange way to live um, because... Yeah, usually you're you're so connected to yeah. everything. And then when you go cruising, you, you literally, you just disconnect from you stuff. You detach. And that is part of the reason we, we went cruising. That's part of the joy of cruising is that you, you're you alleviated from all of this horrible stress, stress and pressure that comes with being so well connected with the world and all of its tragedies and horrible things and you just kind of you're living for yourself you know it's a very um, yeah, yourself and your local environment yeah. like we know what's going on in town because we're here it's an inward experience yeah. um and especially when we're actually sailing when we're out there yeah then we're completely on the alone. ocean we're completely alone completely disconnected we have no contact with the outside world except for our little sap phone <laughs> yeah so our friends you know we, we yeah. text back and forth but that's it and they don't exactly share big news stories with us while yeah. we're out there so it's it's good in that we're like blissfully unaware and we're we're just happy in our little environment a little bubble our bubble um, but that's also a very bad thing to be ignorant and disconnected from what's going on in our world because we are part of the world and you know we we want to contribute in any way we can we want yeah. to be aware just so that we can send out our thoughts when Good when wishes. necessary yeah. yeah on the flip side being disconnected the world doesn't stop it doesn't end like mm. uh we see some people and they're, they're they're like addicted to their phone like they have to know what's going on and like they read all these different newspapers and it's like no you you don't have to like you can have a nice like we are <laughs> and we are a very extreme like we just we're completely unaware of everything oh we don't have a tv yeah and we don't have um, fast enough internet in the boat, at least right now, to be able to be checking our phones or anything. So yeah. it, it's a very disconnected life we live. Yeah, so you have us who were disconnected, and then these other people that read, like, you know, five newspapers and all these different journals every morning. News is on in the background all yeah. day. It, it's, you don't have to be that. Like, if you, if you're that and you're, like, too sucked in and it's, like, bogging you down, you don't have to do that. You can mm -hmm. totally just stop. It like, is an amazing relief. Going. Yeah. It's an incredible relief to just let go and and uh, literally untie the lines. <laughs> yeah. When news like this does finally hit us, it's... we feel almost guilty because we we weren't aware when it w when it started. And yeah, we like haven't we been and people have day. been like freaking out about this all day, understandably. My family, you know, has been just uh, devastated all day and we've just been like la di da di da so you feel you feel this kind of guilt for having been so happy during such a tragedy yeah um so that's like 
an uncomfortable feeling, and it's it's a very strange feeling, and one that we are well acquainted with. Yes, one that we are well acquainted with, um, because that's that's how we get our news. It's always delayed. Uh, another way that we get a lot of our news is when we go out to eat and we're at a restaurant or something. There, there's a TV playing in the background, and they usually cover, you know, big well, headlines yeah. and stuff. But, you know, there's no sound. It's just whatever the ticker tape says at the bottom in Portuguese that we can then translate. <laughs> like, so Somewhere like, there was a landslide. Yeah, there was or, a landslide yeah. in uh, in Africa. Brazil? Well, somewhere. There, we've seen a landslide. There's been an earthquake somewhere in Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, a, a cyclone. Natural hit. disasters. Yeah, all these natural disasters. And then the whole issue with, like, people starving in Venezuela with Maduro mm -hmm. and just stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It's... It's a lot more stuff world that, news. Stuff that they don't show necessarily in the United States. That's yeah. been a very interesting thing, too. Like, here, the news is much more... Each country and different continents. Like, yeah. it covers Europe, then Africa, then what's going on in Asia, South America. Yeah. It, they do cover U.S. It's segment. much more of a range. And then there's always an um, image yeah. of Trump that comes up. And, you yeah, know, something that's in the U.S. The U.S. And so, but it's not like... Trump, 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 Trump. You know, it's not like what we get in the U.S. where you're just yeah, bombarded States, by U.S. news. And they're like, maybe, mm -hmm. maybe they might say something happened in another country and then back to what's happening in the U.S. Yeah. It's it's much more of a, of a world news. Yeah. So that's been cool, you know, getting access to news in other countries and seeing how they present the world. Um, yeah. And it's very different. It is from the U.S. It's just one more interesting thing that we didn't think about when we were setting off to go cruising or when we were talking to other people who had been cruising living this lifestyle it's just it's something that we didn't expect is the the difference in how we receive news yeah, and people, how that affects us people always ask like like the classic questions are how do you get your weather it's like it's always mm -hmm. like like stuff that closely applies to you on your own right boat. yeah how many days did it take you to cross how do you get your weather how yeah, do you where get, do you get your water where your do you water? get your food yeah all that stuff uh, yeah, what's but, your favorite place you have ever been but never this kind of yeah how thing, do you get your news for your daily life just daily life that you don't necessarily think about and so we thought it'd be prudent to do a video talking about this um even though it's not like an extraordinarily exciting topic it's yeah. it's interesting because it's it's really it's a, a different way of life it's a big difference in our lives um and it will be for the next couple years while we're cruising and so if this is something that you're interested in in pursuing just know that you're gonna get disconnected yeah and it'll be nice <laughs> and it'll be nice and also weird and uncomfortable at times and sad um, but usually nice. <laughs> it is. Being blissfully unaware is really nice. <laughs> yeah. If you have any other, like, questions about things that people don't necessarily always ask, we'd like to hear from you. If you're another cruiser out there, and, you know, what are the questions that you wish you would have asked someone before you went? Yeah. Um, what are the questions you didn't even think would come up? These are things that we think are really interesting to cover on the videos because it's different and it's and people don't tend to talk about them because they don't even know to ask that question. So please in the comments down below, let us know. And if you are not a cruiser, try yeah. to think about your daily life and think about the things you take for granted or the things that just come up in your daily routine that would be really different and changed by a cruising lifestyle and if you if that brings up any questions please yeah, let us more. know yeah thanks so much for watching be sure to like subscribe and share this video with your friends and if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map receive postcards from our ports of call and messages directly to the boat you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below